and you try to, at this point, you know, lock in on uh, you know seven games left. Six of them are at home, and uh, continuing to improve and, and go out and compete uh, at a high level. What's an element from out east that maybe you want to bring home with you? Not the weather. It was cold. Uh, yeah, we we did some good things. I, you know, we didn't uh, you know get as many wins as you know we would obviously have always wanted, but. Uh, I thought the game in Toronto was terrific as far as, you know, we had three guys, three starters out, and uh, we competed our tails off. And uh, I thought that was, that was the highlight of the trip, certainly Buddy's uh, game-winning shot and, and us talking about it at halftime against Detroit. Like, we feel like, you know, we haven't played well. Let's figure out a way to get this done. And, and we didn't quit, and uh, we kind of walked him down there at the end, and, and he makes a great shot. And I thought we had a, a, a real nice practice uh, in Memphis uh, and played hard and didn't play great. Uh, but another exciting win for us and, and the continued development of, of trying to win close games. Um, I think that's very positive for our group. On that point, Dave, um, I wanted to ask you to elaborate on the point you made in Los Angeles about balancing player development with winning now and also um, the importance in, of staying in the race in terms of team and player development. What are the benefits long term? Uh, the more competitive that we are, the, I think, you know, that. The idea that nothing is is given, it's earned, and uh, and playing uh, teams that are in the race or not, but every every game matters, uh, especially in the West. It's so tight and competitive. Uh, I think that's that's how development happens, and I'm I'm happy to see it. I know we've sur surprised a lot of people this year uh, with our record and and how fast we're growing, and I think that's a you know just a real credit to our coaches and our players uh, for the amount of work that they're putting in. If I can follow up on that, what, what can these guys gain from being in the race now, whether you guys end up making it or not? Uh, just continued development of playing against you know competitive situations where stuff does matter and, and minutes are earned and you have the opportunity to go out and, and uh, get what you earn. And, uh, I think that's very solid for our identity as a young team. With the long-term goal this season being playoffs, how often does that word come up when you're getting the guys ready on a day-to-day? -day? Playoffs? Or development, playoff, both, both of them. Um, yeah, I mean, we just you try to stay in the moment as much as possible. I think you know you gotta, I think, realize what you know a young team is going through. Uh, you're out there on the road, probably the longest road trip that a lot of these guys have ever made. Probably the first trip like a guy like Harry Giles has has had the opportunity to make. And so things happen on the road, and it's kind of the time of year where things get to feeling like a little bit of a grind. Uh, but we just, you know, emphasize being very positive, um, playing with as much energy as possible. We make mistakes, we make mistakes, uh, but go out and then fly around and uh, hopefully we'll, you know, be better at home. And But, you know, we're, we're playing hard. Uh, we're just not playing as well as we did earlier in the season and we hope to find that rhythm before the break. How vital is the stretch coming into a six game homestand and being able to get some teams that, you know, you might not see again for the rest of the calendar year? Uh, yeah, it's, you know, we, we just need to we need to play well. We need to see some shots go in and uh, get up and down the floor uh, with the pace. I saw that in the Clippers game for about seven, eight minutes. We played with uh, abandon on offense and, and uh, getting up and down and getting to space, De'Aaron getting in the lane, Willie's running, Buddy's getting spray threes. Uh, we, we were able to do that early in the year, a little bit longer duration of a 48-minute game. Uh, on this road trip, you know, we struggled at times, but we played some teams that play really slow, played some iso ball. Uh, try to you know hurt you in the paint, back you down. Big physical teams. Charlotte got in our paint a lot. Um, so you know, we, we do a better job defensively. I think we were seventh leading going into the, the Clippers game defensively in the month of January. So we're seeing progress in in different areas. The defense. A uh, little bit. I mean, we're getting to, we're having too many blow bys. You know, it's it's hard to help on a on a blow by. Um, so we're just you know continuing to grow as young guys. Uh, we're not you know real big. We're not real thick. Um, so we got to try to use some of our athleticism and our use to try to create a couple deflections and and fly around as best we can. And you know what? If they score, they do, and that hurts a little bit. But let's run back at them and and let's uh, wear them down in, in in the fourth quarter where we're able to walk teams down a little bit.